Okay, Lola. Do you have a scratching post to trade for a bag of litter and some catnip? I'm not trading for anything less than a diamond-encrusted cat collar. Lola, take it easy on Myrtle. It's her first family game night. Myrtle Dove, would you mind getting me another glass of water? I can do it, Pop Pop. <laughs> Thanks, kiddo. But Myrtle just has a way with water. Why, I'd be happy to get it for my cutesy wootsy albatross. Oh, if you could get it from the bathroom. Just tastes better for some reason. <laughs> I've been saying that for years. I was trying to get your grand grand out of the room. I've got big news. I'm going to ask Myrtle to marry me. Oh, <gasps> that's so awesome. Shh. Tomorrow at Sunset Canyon, I got it all planned out. Bye, Pop Pop. Bye, Myrtle. What if we thought? up a cool idea for Pop Pop's proposal. Like something Myrtle would be into. Yeah, well, one problem, Stinkin. We don't know that much about her. This is totes what the internet was made for. There are like 110 million results for the name Myrtle. Ooh, did you know she's a type of shrub? Well, you've got to include her last name. Myrtle. <gasps> Wait, what is Myrtle's last name? <clears throat> this is totes what science was made for. Now, all we need to do is insert this photo of Myrtle into my imaging scanner, and it will use spatial recognition software to pull up all known data about her. <gasps> Paulette, Janine, Sherry Ann? They're all Myrtle, but with a whole bunch of different names. Well, I say we look into this dizzy dame and find out what her game is. Hey, girl! Oh, what's them going on? Funny story. We were at home just now thinking, wow, we are the worst at shuffleboard. I mean, total rookies. I'm like, why the heck do I stink at this? And then we thought, hey, you know who could teach us? Oh, my gosh, who? Pop, Pop, and Myrtle, of course. Let's move. Initiating David Steele tuck and roll. <laughs> of disguises. <laughs> and passports. All with Myrtle's picture, but different names. Hey, get a load of this, people. Wedding pictures of Myrtle with a bunch of different husbands. <gasps> <gasps> this should enlighten us about Myrtle and her husbands. <gasps> Yikes, a Rooney! It says they've all disappeared. Gasp, just like the red tarantula. She lures unsuspecting men into marrying her, then does away with them for their money. <laughs> Myrtle is going to marry Pop-Up, then do away with him? We have to get to Sunset Canyon and warn him. <laughs> All right, let's split up and find him. <laughs> Look, a red tarantula is about to strike. I didn't expect to see you little angels here. We know all about you, Myrtle. The hidden room at Sunset Canyon. The different identities. And all those husbands you made disappear. Just like our Pop-Pop, may he rest in... Hey, you coming down, Myrtle? Peace? <whistles> Nighttime rock climbing. It's our new favorite hobby. So you're not the red tarantula after all? There's something I haven't told you kids. I'm a secret agent. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I was, before I retired. Those marriages weren't even real. Those men were my fellow agents. So the weddings were covers for our secret missions, and none of them disappeared. They're still working undercover, so their information is very top secret. Wow. We're sorry, Myrtle. We really got carried away. No need to apologize. It just shows how much you care for your Pop-Pop, which is something we all have in common. You see, the reason I brought him here tonight was to propose. Oh. Well, here goes nothing. Woo. Albert Tross, will you marry me? Oh, Myrtle Dove. Only if you marry me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Myrtle, we're just so happy to have you back. He said, we're so ding-dang happy to have you as part of the family. And I couldn't agree more.